Digital is a word that came up. Teacher training came up. There is another one. It's looking at students as individuals. People are demanding solutions and methods and content that work for them, for the individual. And no doubt, digital could help with that. How do we teach language? What should be the expectations? We have students from different levels within the same classroom. We have experience, but we still have different needs. That's why differentiated professional development. And how is it going to happen? That's the next question. Really, we kind of found two main areas that we thought were quite important for the next five years. Obviously, digital did come up, and the main issue that we did find was that there's kind of that divide between what the teacher knows and what the student knows about digital. There's definitely more room for uh, teacher development, but not necessarily digital-led teacher development. The second thing that we did look at was the use in English in other subjects. Cross-curriculum, uh, use of English, CLIL. So these are the two areas where we think in the next five years there will be more development. Personalised learning, we can see that there will be probably a need for students to have sort of customised learning of some kind. Students are going to be uh, very savvy with new technology, but teachers not necessarily, so they need training. Again, we have coexistence of traditional and digital. And one thing I'll just say in passing is that we live in times that are very turbulent. So who knows what's really going to happen economically, politically, environmentally. So whatever we think about in the next five years, let's make sure we leave some room for instability and something simple that works. Thank you. Thank you.